Hey, Makai, so um, what is the overall, you think, um, spirit of the defense right now and how, how practice is going since the Ole Miss game? Um, I love the way practice went today. Guys came out with great intensity. You know, nobody was dwelling on what happened next week. Everybody really just came with a mentality, mentality to get better for next week, and I love the way the team showed up today. Yeah, you know, uh, Pete Jenkins has been added to the staff as an analyst. I mean, I, I know he's not going to, like, work with you all the time, but, like, are you excited just to have, like, you know, that analyst type in the, in the room with you? Definitely. You know, it's always great when you get a great mind like him in a room with you just to talk ball and really just talk technique with you and things like that. So I think guys really responded well today. You know, he was out there today, and I'm really excited to have him on staff with us. But, Kai, what is it going to be able to uh, be like going back to Mizzou and taking this trip back there? I was going to be great. You know, I've been talking to my old teammates there and all my friends. So, you know, it's definitely going to be great just to those family members that never really been able to travel, just to be able to come back home and play in front of them. You know, it's a great feeling. Oh, can you share what maybe Coach Jenkins or others have shared with you guys about what you need to clean up on the defensive line to improve there? Definitely just got to clean up our eyes and, and focus on really getting off the ball, crowding the ball more, and really – being disruptive in the backfield and making things easier for the linebackers. You know, that's, that's the um, emphasis this week, and that's what we plan on doing this upcoming game. In, in Missouri, this quarterback, he's red hot, and so is his top receiver. What challenges did they bring this week? Definitely. Number three, Luther Burden. You know, he's a dynamic guy, a guy they want to get the ball to in space, and he can make a lot happen. And the quarterback, he's been really aggressive these past few weeks, pushing the ball down the field. You know, he's definitely going to present some challenges, but we'll be up for it. Uh, this is going to be the third straight high-paced offense, you know, another potential for a shootout. How do you keep yourself grounded as a defensive player in a big moment like this? Just come in every day and put the work in and practice. You know, we practice well. I think it'll translate over to the game, and guys seem really focused today. So now we have to build on that and have another great day tomorrow and really start focusing up and locking in for the game. Yeah, Brady Cook's been on fire for the Missouri offense. Uh, how important is it to get that pass rush going early in this game? Definitely when they get out there and affect them early. You know, they do a lot of quick passes. He likes to get the ball out early, but when he sits back there, we can't let him just, you know what I'm saying, stay back there and get to his first read because, you know, he's very lethal and his top receiver is a very good receiver. There's so much season left, right? Um, what can this game mean in terms of getting back on track and heading, you know, back towards trying to be the champion of the SEC West? You know, we come in every game hoping to win, and this is definitely going to be a, a statement game for us, one that, you know, we really want to win after coming off of a loss like that and just really putting our identity on film and showing who we really are. What's it like to play in that, at that stadium? What, what, what's, it's kind of unique. LSU's only been there one time in their whole history. What, how would you describe that atmosphere there? Definitely. For an opposing team, it could be kind of hostile. You know, the fans are crazy, but... Guys will be ready, you know what I'm saying? Just, it, it's nothing we haven't experienced. We play in Death Valley every Saturday, so I think we'll be fine. Another early road game. We're going to see some more stretches at a car dealership this week or what? <laughs> nah, luckily the hotel is 15 minutes from the stadium this time, so we won't have to do anything crazy, you know. Everything will be set up for us when we get down there.